five. This is problem number five on coplanar non-concurrent system of forces. Uh, the question is uh, to find uh, magnitude and direction of the resultant and its position with respect to the point O. Okay. Now we will write uh, components for uh, inclined forces. Uh, there are two inclined forces in this uh, problem: 100 newton and 80 newton here. Uh, here the horizontal inclination of 80 newton will be 60 degree only means opposite angles are equal so horizontal component for 80 newton force is 800 sorry 100. vertical component of 80 newton force is 80 sin 80 sin 60 and horizontal component is 80 cos 60 and for this 100 newton force angle will be 60 degree only right Sixty. so whatever the angle we have here the same angle will be there because the 100 newton force is along the side of the triangle that is why so its horizontal component is 100 cos 60 vertical component is 100 sin 60 okay now we will find magnitude and direction of the resultant force first for that we need sigma fx and sigma fy therefore sigma fx is equal to sum of forces in x direction is equal to 100 cos 60 acting in right direction sin is plus 100 cos 60 then we have 80 say 80 cos 60 acting in right direction sin is plus 80 cos 60 Okay, only two horizontal forces are there. The sum of both the forces will be 90 Newton. Then sigma fi, sum of forces in y direction is equal to 100 sin 60 acting in upward direction, sin is plus 100 sin 60. Then 80 sin 60 acting in downward direction, minus 80 sin 60 and we have 120 newton force acting in downward direction minus 120 answer for this minus 102.68 newton now we can find the magnitude of the resultant force for the formula is root of sigma fx square plus sigma fy square which is equal to root of 90 square plus 102.68 square I will not take negative sign here because when you make it square negative minus into minus it becomes plus resultant force is equal to 136.54 newton then coming to the direction of the resultant force theta the formula is tan inverse of sigma fi by sigma fx which is equal to tan inverse of 102.68 divided by 90 answer is uh, minus 48.57 degrees minus 48.57 degrees now we have determined magnitude and direction of the resultant force okay now we have to find position with respect to O. Okay. To find position with respect to O, we need moment about O. Sigma M O sum of moments of forces about point O. We have to find. Now coming to the moment of 100 Newton force, this is very important. See, coming to the moment of 100 Newton force. Moment of 100 Newton force about point O becomes zero. 
moment of 100 newton force about point 0.4 becomes 0. Why? Because point 0.4 lies in the line of action of the force. Point 0.4 lies in the line of action of the 100 newton force. So this is the line of action of 100 newton force. Correct? It is all. It is acting along the side of uh, triangle. So, as the point four lies in the line of action, or hundred newton force passing through the point four, moment of hundred newton about point four becomes zero. Okay, directly you can write hundred into zero. Okay, instead of using the components to find the moments, okay, you can directly write hundred into zero. Even if you use components to find the moment, sum of moments of both the components about point four become zero. If you want, you can try it. Now, moment of 80 cos 60 about point four will also become zero because if you draw the line of action for 80 cos 60 force, point O lies in the line of action. So 80 cos 60 into zero again. 80 cos 60 into 0. Okay. Then moment of 80 sin 60. 80 sin 60 into what is the perpendicular distance of point 4? So this is the line of action. This is the line of action of 80 sin 60. We have the point 4 here. Distance of point 4 from this line of action is how much? 120 mm into 120 and about point 0.4 if you draw if you apply vertical force at this corner the triangular plate will rotate in clockwise direction sin is plus then moment of 120 newton force 120 into what is the line of action of 120 newton force so this is the line of action point 0.4 is here distance of point 0.4 from the line of action is 60 mm okay into 60 into 60 and about point 0.4 if you apply a downward force at the uh, middle edge of the uh, triangular plate then plate will rotate in uh, clockwise direction sin is plus okay so to this uh, moment of all the forces we have uh, written so adding all the moments you will get the answer as uh, 15517.7 newton millimeter okay Now we can calculate the x-intercept is equal to sigma m0 by sigma fi which is equal to 15517.7 divided by sigma fi is 102.68 it is 151.12 millimeter okay then y intercept is equal to sigma m0 divided by sigma fx which is equal to 15517.7 divided by sigma fx is 90 90 let me calculate it 15517.7 divided by 90 172.41 millimeter 41 millimeter and d is equal to sigma m0 divided by r 15517.7 divided by resultant force is 136.54 Okay, 
divided by 136.54 mm okay to this uh, determination of position of the resultant force with respect to the point o is over, is also over okay so we have done with uh, solution of this particular problem thank you